top of the morning to you. What we're doing today, that wasn't a very good impression, sorry. Right, give you a clue. And my favourite bottle opener. Well, the resemblance, really. Can't see it myself. We are brewing an Irish red ale. Maris Otter, crystal, flake barley, roasted barley. Fuggles at the start of the boil, challenger at flame out. I did an overnight mash again. I'm going to do a 40 minute boil and the yeast is going to be a US05. Wait for the boil to come up. <coughs> come here. And uh, see what happens. Um, this is the first brew that I've followed to the letter. I've got, it's the one out of the Bible. I've never had everything in to do a full brew before and follow, follow, follow the recipe properly. Although I've had to go off piece a bit because I think it wants me to use Y yeast. Um, and I've owned, I've got USO5, so I'm gonna use USO5. So. Hops are ready. Yeast, protoflark, I've got half, I'm using that. I used half on my last one. I've always chucked full in and it, it did the job. I don't know why I'd read it somewhere or seen it somewhere, so I'm gonna give that a go. Wish me luck. We're at a boil. So, 50 grams of fuggles going in. Lovely. 15 minutes to go. Prep flock. Just pop the chiller in to sanitise. 34 grams of Challenger. Flame out. Chill down. Just got a bit wet. The uh, This here connection. I don't know whether I need to revisit this. It's uh, wait a minute. It got a bit warm, melted, Psh, spray out the side. These ends are bent down. I was told to do this when I built it, just in case you had a dribble leak, so it doesn't dribble back into your wart and obviously thin around, watch her down. Um, but I do try and keep an eye on it as much as I can when it's chilling down, just in case it goes wrong on that. Suddenly, out of nowhere, developed a spurt, wasn't even a dribble. Pulled the pipe a bit, Psss. nearly got very wet. But I've got some more, swapped her out. Um, don't match now though, that'll do me head in. I've got, got one yellow one, and white, one green one, but it's all right. So, that'll go in the bin. I might need to revisit that, as I said. And uh, some different fittings, copper, brass, I guess you can get. We're back. Hiya, how you doing? 
We are taste testing the Irish Red Ale. Now that, it's not that clear yet. It got cold crushed. It's the first one I used half a protoflock on, so I don't know whether that's how to do with it. It's been in the keg about a week and a half, so it might clear out. It was cold crushed, like I said, but I'm not convinced it's that red. Are you? I'm not sure. Anyway. Right, it's very nice. It's pretty close to an English bitter. Um, it's nice and easy drinking. It came out at 4.8%. It tastes lovely. Um, bit malty. Definitely a bit caramelly. It's really nice, I'm really pleased with it. I've got, I've got a chocolate stout on and I've got a, an IPA, so sort of bitter type of drink is uh, a nice compliment to the kegerator on the third, uh, third tap. It's a nice, nice choice at the minute, Christmas time. Nice uh, choice of three different sort of beers really. Scottish Shilling, I think, maybe next, or a Porter. I saw, uh, I watched Clive Cutty, Cutter's Choice, brewing last night, and uh, he did a he did a Porter, it looked lovely. I've never brewed. I've done I've done Porter kits, but I've uh, I've done stout all grains, but I've never done a, an all grain Porter, so I might I might give that a go next door. So that is, it's just a quick end to this video. I say. That is, it's really nice. Just nice and steady. I think it'll be, um, it'll be one of them drinks that anybody probably likes. Um, you know, it's, if you like beer, it's a beer. If you like lager, you probably won't like it, but it's a bit hoppy, a bit malty, a bit caramelly. And surprisingly not a bit bitter <laughs> yeah it's really nice so that's it so it's from him buy from him it's goodbye from me thanks for watching see you next time like subscribe and hit the bell